Hey, what's up, everyone? About a year ago, I started my blog from metareader.com, and uh, I posted a video of a Stinton 108 that crashed into the forest due to a high-density altitude problem. So um, here's the video, in case you haven't seen it, and I'm just going to skip through the video a bit. The aircraft's trying to take off. He has a hard time doing so. Here he's up in the air already, and just can't gain any altitude at all. And eventually he even touches down again, right here, and he's just pushing it. So fast forward about two miles or so. The airplane uh, gained just a little bit of altitude and here he's flying over a forest and then he suddenly loses his altitude and crashes. I wish I could jump in there through some butterfly effect book reading and tell the pilot to hold on to his iPad or something. Now that's pretty intense. Everybody was okay. Uh, pilot had a broken jaw though, but everybody survived. And they're lucky to be alive, if you ask me. So I looked up the NTSB report and, um, and the weather information here. Uh, I took the weather information here. I created a Metar code out of it through my website, metareader.com, and uh, created my own Metar code for this situation. And I'm going to try to replicate that flight uh, with a different aircraft, though, and see if these high-density altitude effects uh, are really present in uh, prepared, and see how much of an effect it has. So I copied my Metar code into Active Sky Next, and I'm going to boot up prepared and see what happens. <laughs> so see you there. So here we are, we're at uh, U63, um, something something meadows, and let's set the airplane up, virtual cockpit. Ooh, my tracker is not really responding. That's better. All right, controls. Um, let's put the master switch on. Avionics, I'm not gonna bother with them today, but let's turn them on. Fuel, what's that thing called again? Fuel cutoff is on. Okay, so let's um, get a little bit of, uh, let's get a little bit of fuel into the engine. Fuel pump, bam. A steady fuel flow, cut it off, fuel pump off, beacon on. Uh, I'm still not sure what switches I should hit here, but since we're about to, no, since we're about to take off, let's do that. Transponder, well, just because we can, let's put it on altimeter. Uh, let me see if the temperature is indeed the way I set it up 28 degrees, it's supposed to be 27, but inside the cockpit. It's a little warmer, of course. So let's open that puppy up. Um, trim. Let's set it to neutral before we take off. And let's put some let's put some passengers in this airplane. Uh, the other prop. I want the other prop. Uh, stock. There you go. Uh, packs. There were three people on board there. They're all guys. Let's see if we have another guy here. Nope. Well, this is as close as it gets. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Let's put some fuel in there. How much would you... Well, it's not really accurate. It's a different airplane, different weights. But let's just see how much of an effect this has on takeoff performance. Um, that seems all right. All right. Clear! 
So um, let's crank the throttle a little and turn the switch. Come on. There you go. Full rich. Let's go to a thousand RPM. Let's see, how's the oil pressure doing? Doing great. Thanks. Altimeter. So let's turn that one to 1016. Ten sixty. This is as close as it gets. I guess so. Warnings are working. And in case you wondered, yes, everything is modeled correctly, so there can be malfunctions if I don't maintain this aircraft. Let's start leaning out a little. I'm not sure how to lean it out, but I just listen to the engine and see what happens. So if I don't lean out, the spark blocks will go bad real quick. Okay. How's the temperature doing? Uh, where's the temperature again? Temp, 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 temp. Should be over here. Fuel flow, exhaust temperature, pressure. Oh, there, temperature. It's a little on the low side still. Ain't this a beautiful day? Let's take a look at our passengers for a second. Oh, almost forgot about that. Uh, Pito cover. Is that how you call it? Pito? Pito? I don't know. Wheel chocks, tie downs. All right, all right, all right, all right. Basic check. Let's see if our controls are working. So you can't blame me for that. I don't know. The dead center. It's a little, uh, uh, dead center. The dead zone's a little, uh, huge there. Let's put it back to 15. That's much better. All right, so that's working. That's working. We are ready to do the next check here. Yeah, engine is okay. So let's boost it to 1800 RPM. Get rid of that. Get rid of the menu real quick. I hate that. It keeps popping up, whatever I do. So, anyway, uh, it's still not really stable actually. Does it matter? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. No significant drop. Uh, drops a little more than the other one, but that's fine for now. So, uh, I need that easy dock. Blah, blah, blah. Fuel pump, everything's okay. And let's go full rich. Flaps are at 10. Did my engine almost shut down? <laughs> okay, well anyway, so let's go. Take the parking brakes off. Low voltage, what? How is that even possible? What can I do about that? I've seen that before, but just don't know what to do about it. So anyway, let's see how far, how high we can get this puppy. So let's do it.
Come on, tracker. Work with me. No, not twerk. There. Work. Wow. Come on, don't twerk. Come on. Let's pause that for a second. What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna pause my tracker real quick. Like that. Okay. Let's get back. Wow, it really doesn't have any power at all. How come? Is that due to the due to the high density altitude? Is the engine not getting enough? Uh, oxygen? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> Oh wow, it's really not taking off at all, oh wow, look at that, I'm at full power, look at the throttle, wow wow wow, I need ORBX uh, Northern Rockies by the way, but look at that, that's pretty intense, it's modeled so real, the whole simulation. Oh, come on, Tracker. What's the big deal? Ah, come on. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm still at full throttle. Let's see if, uh, if I can do something about the mixture. Sure, if, I think you're supposed to lean it out in higher altitudes. Here, it's helping a little. Wow. Well, anyway, I'm uh, going to come around now. I'm going to land real quick and try to take off again and see what happens. So I'm gonna cut away for a few seconds and I'll see you down on the runway. So I came around and now I'm about to land. I think I got the right mixture, the optimal uh, mixture, I guess. And so, after we landed, I'm gonna try to take off again and see what happens. Now uh, that's got to be the softest landing I did so far. So let's break. And now that I got my optimal mixture settings, uh, I'm gonna try to take off again, not from the beginning of the runway, but from down here, see what happens. And first I'm gonna show you what I mean. Uh, check this out. I'm gonna close up real quick. Uh, there are my passengers. If I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be another one. Check it out. <laughs> Hidden in the trunk. How do you like that? There's my extra passenger. That's pretty funny. She is alive though, she's blinking. There, she's moving her head. And she, she was blinking there. That's funny. So, let's take off again. Come on, voltage. What's wrong with my voltage? My voltage. Let me see. Where's my voltage? Is that it? Well, if anybody knows what's wrong here, what I can do about it, low voltage. Look at my settings. Alternator is on. 
So I'm not sure what's wrong here. Danger, danger. Low voltage. So let's go again. Uh, flaps back to 10%. That's 10%. All right. Let's fire it up. There, fix that for you. Was flying without a yoke. That's okay, because I'm not handy. Anyway. Trying to get the nose wheel off the ground a little. To prevent too much stress on the landing gear. On this grass runway. Whoa, no, don't take off yet. You're not there yet. That's flying the ground effect. <laughs> I really need to get off the ground now. But I'm still so low on airspeed. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. So I guess the conclusion is it definitely has an effect on the, the density altitude. I'm at full power and not gaining any speed at all. And that's seriously dangerous, so uh, I think I'm gonna try to land on a road somewhere or maybe turn it around. And uh, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.